Hello, my name is James Davis. I'm a lay preacher, but I'm here in Swansea City Centre in the Caribbean restaurant, in the Jamaican restaurant, Red Stripe. Hence, sorry, let me re rephrase that. I'm drinking Red Stripe, yes, it's a Jamaican lager beer, but I am in the restaurant. Well, I'm not in, I'm outside. But the point is, I'm on the premises of a Jamaican restaurant called Turtle Bay. Now, um, the previous, uh, I made a video, it was on Sat Saturday, in the early, very early Saturday, a very early morning Saturday, where I made a video where I was smoking one of these finest, beautiful, lovely cigars. And I was worse for wear, to say the least. I was very drunk. Not drunk to the point where I was paralytic, but still I was drunk. And I put that video on private. I am taking it down. I put it on private because it was in my own flat, right? I've got a contract. And I don't know if I'm supposed to smoke in my own flat. I don't know. I mean, I probably can. I mean, I pay rent, right? But just in case, I put the video on private because I don't want my landlord to, to see it. Not that he ever will, because although not he will, not that he ever probably will, because I don't think he's on YouTube, because he's not even on Facebook, right? So this is why I'm filming this again, where I'm more sober. You can see me where I'm drawing. Oh. And these wonderful cigars. Oh, it's like nectar in heaven. And of course, being in Jamaica, being in, being in Jamaica, not quite. Being in a Jamaican. Shut up! An idiot. Being in a Jamaican restaurant. What better still to have a Jamaican beer, Red Stripe? Which, if you don't know, the Red Stripe is my favorite lager beer. Bon appetit. As we say in Wales, Yechida. As we say in Jamaica, Yechida, man. Or as we say in Japan, Wadudu. Oh, oh, yeah, go what, mind? Five pound thirty five a pint, five pounds and thirty five pence a pint for this. It's extortionate, man, totally extortionate. So, why am I in town? I'm in town because I may be having a job on Wednesday. Yay! I've been out of work since June last year. So I may be having a job Wednesday. I don't know if it's for sure because I still you know, I have, to go, I have to go for the interview first, but I've been told to fill out the form. Just take it from there. Just pray to God, yeah, pray to God in Jesus' name that I get this job. Because, did you know that the Bible tells us to work? God, in his holy word, tells us to work. Come on. I believe it's in... Oh, pardon me, pardon me. 
I believe it's in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 10 where it says if you don't work you don't eat what basically God is saying there through the works of St Paul through the writings of St Paul is if you don't work you don't get paid so if it what a fucking idiot so if you don't get paid you don't eat of course in those days in the first century AD there was there was no welfare system there was no benefit system so if you didn't work you didn't get paid which is not not a bad thing okay look okay now okay it can be a good thing these days depend on the context depend on the circumstances but there are so many people out there who are who are who are on benefits who are capable of working they can work and this is where the system has failed if you can work get out and get a job contribute to contribute to society but not only that it 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 will help with your self esteem you know god right god he, uh, God, he has given us these hands, yeah? He's given us these hands to do labour, to work, to contribute to society, to help society, but also to help yourselves. You know? We have to have a purpose. And working gives us a purpose. Yes, as Christians, we have we also have a purpose to spread the gospel of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Yes, I know this. But also as well, you know, there's only so much you can spread the gospel till you burn out. So you have to get work. You have to have a job, even if it's just volunteering. You know, if it's just volunteering, even if you're still on benefits but you're doing voluntary work. It's still better than being a bum. It's still better than sitting on your fat ass. Don't be idle, don't be lazy. Get out there and do something, contribute. Be useful to society. And to all those people out there who are on benefits and say, Oh, 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 Craig, well, James, uh, what should I do volunteer at work if I don't get paid? What should I do volunteer at work if I get no money? What should I do volunteer? You get paid anyway. You know, you get paid anyway from the government. But why should you get paid for doing sod all? No, get out there and do something. As I said, even if it's volunteer work, and also as well, right? If you're working for nothing, and I use that in layman terms, because you're still getting paid by the government anyway, right? So you're still getting your finances. You're still getting your cash, you're still getting your money, you're still getting paid. But if the opportunity comes where you do get a paid job, and the employee say, say, sees on your... CV and says, wow, this guy is doing volunteer work. He's working four, five days a week and he's doing it for nothing. He's not getting paid. Means this guy actually wants to work. He wants to do something. Let us then um, give him a month's tri a trial or give her a month's trial and see where it goes. See, this is where volunteering work works because they can lead into paid work. Don't be lazy. Don't be an idol. Don't be a bum. Get out there and do your job. And when you do work then, then you won't feel guilty for smoking if you smoke. And you won't feel guilty for drinking if you drink. 
because then you are working for it and not being a scrounger from people's benefits, from people's taxes. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Please comment, please subscribe, and uh, please don't hesitate to hit the like button. And to my brothers and sisters in Christ, if I do not get to see any of you in this lifetime, I shall see you all in our Father's kingdom. Thank you all and God bless you all in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Absolutely, 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 absolutely